Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Paul at Vintage Sports Card Finds, and today we're going to I'm going to talk about uh, some great cards I was able to pick up this weekend. Um, first, uh, I had a guy come into the flea market where I set up on Saturday, and he offered me this card. And this is a 1959 Ted Williams uh, card number 60. Uh, more rewards for Ted. This is from that 1959 uh, Flair Ted Williams set. And we went back and forth. I looked up the comps on the card. I mean, right, the fact that it was in a slab wasn't a big deal because I don't know ISA, International Sports authentication um you know there's i don't know anything about this company but the card looked nice um it's a ted williams card and we were able to work out a, a ten dollar price tag on it uh the grade was sort of irrelevant because again i don't know much about this this um grading uh company but it was a nice card to pick up so the ted williams was a nice pickup. Then today I went over to the outdoor flea market. Finally, finally, we had a Sunday where it was not raining. And so uh, the place was packed because weeks and weeks have gone by and we've had su Sunday rain every week. And I love going to that flea market because you got new vendors all the time and you can always sort of pick something up. And I did pick up some stuff. I did run into one vendor. Um, I picked up, I believe, this is a 1969. Uh, it's either 1968 or 1969 checklist for the football set. So that's a nice pickup. It's unmarked. And I picked this card and a number of other ones up from the same vendor. And you can see he had a price tag on some of these cards. Um, I think these might go with the 1970 glossy um, inserts. This is Mac Percival kicker for the Bears. And then the big one that I picked up uh, as far as football goes was this glossy. And I sort of need to look at this card. It is a glossy card. Um, Len Dawson. I don't know. I don't know what these are supposed to look like. I don't think I've really ever had any of these. Or had the opportunity to buy any of these or have actively sought to buy any of these but uh the price was right on these so i picked them up uh i picked up that percival and the len dawson if he had had more i would have picked up more but those are the only ones he had in his box and then i also picked up this card so i'm going to take this card out same vendor um, I think I need this card for my 1959, um, uh, this 1959. Is it a 59 or 58? That's Frank Robinson. And I mean, you can see it's in tough shape. It's heavily creased. This is probably like a one. It's got a crease here. Uh, crease here. Another crease through here another crease through here and then some you know damaged corners and whatnot but I think because I needed the card I think it's a 59 um I'm almost positive in fact well maybe not now that I look at it this might be a 58 uh, I just wanted to show off the cards that we picked up today. So this is Frank Robinson, and I was glad to pick this up. Now, 
the total price tag he had on him was 19. Uh, I wasn't really overly happy. You know, the condition of this card was a little whatever, but it was a nice pickup along with these others, which I thought were pretty good. Uh, so I think he had it for 19 bucks on these. Um, sorry about that. He had it for 19 bucks on these four cards and I was able to get it for 15. So it works out to about $3 and 75 cents a card. And then I was able to get, I saw one other vendor and he had this card and I don't know if I made a good deal or not. Um, there were no comps on eBay for this card. Um, but if you've watched this channel for any length of time, uh, you know that I'm a, a Kobe Bryant fan. And I was able to pick up this card. This is a 1997 Skybox EX 2001 Kobe Bryant and a near mint mint eight. So I looked it up to try to get comps, you know, to get an idea of what I could sell, you know, what I could get the card for. This is a card I'm going to keep, you know, to add my Kobe Bryant collection. But uh, the interesting part about this card was um, I couldn't find any um, eight comps, PSA eight comps. So what there were uh, on sold and completed was uh, PSA seven, PSA sixes, which weren't very much money. I think it was like ten dollars for ten to fifteen dollars on PSA sixes, uh, twenty 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 five dollars on PSA sevens. So I basically was I the guy wanted sixty for it. I felt like that was a little high, um, given uh, how modern Kobe Bryant cards and all real modern. Or, or more modern cards have sort of dipped. So I told him, I said, you know, I'd, I'd be willing to, I said, since there's no exact comp on the eight, I said, I'd be willing to do 40 and he accepted. So I was, I was happy to pick this card up for 40. Um, you gotta let me know in the comments if you thought it was a good deal. Um, it was just, I, I liked the fact that it was already slabbed. I like the fact that it was a, a fairly high grade for what looks like a, um, if it's not a die cut, but it's got that, that those die cut qualities. In fact, I don't know if this is the same set. I don't think it is. No, this is from a different year, but it has similar, um, you know, aspects like this you know there's a die cut aspect to it so you have the clear background with a raised die cut image on, on these cards so i figured to get this in an eight is got to be kind of hard so i was kind of happy i was happy to get this i was really happy to get this i i to be honest with you i was thrilled on saturday just to get to ted williams but um but when you add this card and the Frank Robinson and the Len Dawson and, and so on, uh, I, I was, a, it was a nice weekend for picking up cards. Um, anyway, that's it. Those are the cards I picked up this weekend. I was really excited to get, to get them and add them to my collection. So we got Kobe, uh, Frank Robinson and Teddy Ballgame. And, um, just to give you another view of that, there they are. Um, we are in the process, like I said, guys, of moving. So, um, the battle rages on. It'll be probably June before everything is finally over in the, in the house. Uh, and it's every day I'm driving over portions of the collection, um, and so on. And it's driving me batty, but it's getting done. It's getting done in a, um, In the manner that I want it to be done, uh, I didn't want movers handling any of my collection. So the collection is going over. The movers will do the furniture, and that's it. So 
Um, so I've started weeks ahead of what we needed to do in terms of getting that out. Uh, tell me in the comments if you've had to move, if you've got a big collection and you had to move it, <laughs> how did you go about it? Uh, also, let me know in the comments uh, which cards you thought were good, uh, did, were these uh, good deals. Uh, you know, I was taking a shot on a lot of this stuff. Um, and I would really be interested in hearing your comments. If you guys enjoy the uh, content, please comment, like, share, and subscribe. Um, I'm trying to keep up and doing videos even while we're doing the move. Uh, you might get shorter videos like this, maybe a couple of shorts, things like that, just because of time constraints. Not to sound like ESPN, but due to time constraints, we had to speed up the process. Uh, so anyway, that's where we're at. Thanks a bunch, guys, for watching. Uh, welcome to all the new subscribers, and thanks so much for all of the subscribers that have been there with me since the beginning. Uh, I really, really appreciate you guys. Um, thanks again for watching, and as always, guys, happy hunting. Thanks.